Well, your system will talk with EDI essentially using its native file format. And what that means is every ERP system has a file format structure that it's used to working with. It knows how to interpret it. So if, if you're going to go over and do EDI, your inbound documents essentially have to be converted into your ERP's native file format. And that's what the EDI translator does. It takes the X12 format from your inbound EDI, converts it into the file structure that your ERP system is looking to see. Once that's been converted into that native format, your translator simply FTPs it into a directory that your ERP system is scanning all during the day, pulls the document in, and it's sort of like you know, there's like an intermediate file where each field will fit into the appropriate space within your ERP system. So PO numbers will go into the PO number field in your ERP system, and so on and so forth. So that's really how EDI talks to your system, is through the conversion from X12 into native file format, and then on the way out, the same thing, outbound documents. Your system will create a native file format for that document. The translator puts it into X12 so that when your trading partner receives it, their system can interpret.